rather than drawing a complete frequency distribution graph every single time you want to display data, researchers usually describe a distribution by listing its characteristics. And these characteristics can be described in any distribution, like the shape, the central tendency, variability. Um, but in its simplest terms, central tendency is just where the, the measure of the center for the distribution is located. And variability tells where the scores are spread um, all over the place in a wide range or clustered together. In this um, short video, we're going to talk about how we can display um, data through a picture. So over here we have more of the traditional frequency distribution chart. And right here we have um, the, the histogram, right? So we took this data of all the different raw scores and we converted it into a histogram. The shape of a distribution, though, is very important. So you have a couple different types. You have um, ones that are symmetrical. Right, so if you draw a line right down the middle, this side, the left side, looks just like the right side. Same thing here. If you draw a line right down the middle, it's a little off. Uh, this side looks like this side versus a skewed. So these are both symmetrical. This one is unimodal, right? And this one is um, what we consider bimodal, or it has two modes. Now, over here on the bottom, we have skewed data. So if we're going to pull it right in the middle, right, we see a lot more data frequency, because again, over here is the frequency, right, piling up on the right-hand side. So we would say this one is skewed, and it's negatively skewed, because if you think of like a number line, here's zero, right, and over here you have all your positive numbers, and on this side of the number height line you have your negative numbers, right, so you have like zero, one, and over here you have negative one and two, and negative two, and three, and negative three, right, same thing for this distribution. Um, bottom left hand corner again, we're looking at, so we have a negatively skewed distribution because the um, tail is pointing off to the left. If I pull um, a line right down the middle of this one, and then same thing here, we have um, the frequency. A lot of the scores are piling up on the left-hand side, and tape, the tail is tapering off to the right or towards the positive end of the number line. So we would say this one is a negatively skewed distribution. And this one is a positively skewed distribution.